Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We have just test driven the 2024 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. And so to give you a little bit more detail, we've got it in our garage. We popped the hood. Yeah. And so we're going to do a complete under hood tour outlining all of the major technical features as well as the do it yourself maintenance service points. The 2024 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid features the brand's venerable Hybrid Synergy Drive system, which is well proven. It starts with a 176 horsepower, 2.5 liter Atkinson cycle gasoline engine with D4S fuel injection, which features both direct and port fuel injection. The engine features a relatively high 14 to 1 compression ratio and variable valve timing that can run on 87 octane regular and leaded fuel or higher. It's mated to an electric continuously variable transmission with two motors, one as the main traction motor and the other primarily as a starter generator. It produces 219 system horsepower, including the additional electric motor drive unit at the rear axle that provides standard all-wheel drive functionality. Total system horsepower is limited actually by software and its high voltage hybrid battery capacity, not so much the cumulative outputs of its individual components. Following the airflow, the intake charge comes through a snorkel at the top of the radiator to a small air filter box mounted low on the driver's side. From there, it flows through a mass airflow sensor and a drive-by-wire throttle body into a composite plastic intake manifold. At the top of the manifold, you can see many of the fuel injection components for its port fuel injection, but the majority of its direct fuel injection components are hidden below. At the top of the engine with the sound cover removed, you can see all four spark plug coil packs and they're easily accessed for service. Once the combustion process takes place, exhaust exits at the rear of the engine through a tubular exhaust manifold and directly into the catalyst exhaust system. Doing your own maintenance on the RAV4 Hybrid is as straightforward as any conventional gasoline model. Do stay clear of the bright orange high voltage wiring though as handling it incorrectly can be very dangerous because it does carry up to 650 volts. It's generally not user serviceable anyway. Coolant reservoirs for both the engine and the hybrid drive system can be found at the passenger side of the engine compartment. The engine coolant reservoir is the one on the left, the hybrid drive system coolant to the right. They both use the same type of coolant though. The oil filler cap is located at the top of the engine valve cover. Checking the oil, it's done at the front center of the engine, the bright yellow dipstick well visible. Both are accessible with the plastic engine sound cover on or off. The oil filter though, it must be accessed from below the vehicle. The brake fluid reservoir can be found at the driver's side near the strut tower, remotely located from the electronically controlled brake motor unit. Adjacent to it is the main engine ECU. Just ahead of both is the main fuse panel which can be easily accessed and there's a fuse removal tool just inside. The main engine air filter box is located at the front driver side of the engine compartment and the good news is that changing the filter can be done easily and with no tools. Just pop a couple of clips and out it comes. No reason to spend any money at your dealership for this. Looking around the engine compartment you'll notice that there's no 12 volt battery located here. You'll find it next to the spare tire at the rear cargo compartment under a cover. Also notable is a large electric cooling fan at the radiator. Do watch your hands when working under the hood, even with the engine powered off. All right, my friends, there you have it for a quick overview under the hood of the 2024 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. Now, if you have an earlier model that's part of this current generation, going back to when it was first introduced, everything we just showed you, everything we just spoke of applies. What's under the hood of the vehicle hasn't really changed since it was first introduced. That said, we do have a test drive of this vehicle right there. It was a nice Woodland edition on our partner channel, Test Driven TV. But if you like the nuts and bolts stuff like this, you can subscribe to TDTV Garage right there.